Ah, shit. Get your tea and your popcorn because this is yet another good one. We've got an unambiguous black woman with 4C hair or type 4 hair. She is a reporter facing texturism. And guess who the texturist is? Guess who? You guessed it. That's right. The members of Blackistan. But let's take a look at this TikTok. For those servicing the wealthy on the East End, affordable housing could still be impossible to find. One developer sees a chance to change this with targeted workforce housing, catered to hospitality workers and essential workers like teachers, police officers, and government employees. But some government officials remain skeptical on how to avoid abuse. Meanwhile, some businesses say they are spending nearly six figures to house key staffers like executive and sous chefs nearby. Workers unable to nab jobs with housing included are left to pay eye-watering rent or face hours-long traffic in the Hamptons trade parade. This person says, I know you're fucking lying on national TV. Somebody said, clean out. I scrolled past and said, wait, and scrolled back up to the video because why? That's exactly what I did, because what? So this black reporter, she can't even let her hair blow in the wind without her own fellow unambiguous type four hair black women scrolling back up just so they can talk shit. Imagine going viral because members of your own community have so much internalized texturism that they won't let you be in your natural state. If she's out there by the water and her little twist out comes out or whatever, I have no idea what happened. People are saying that I guess if you do a twist out, um, this can happen to your hair where it sticks out like this. Okay, well, you know what? Since we're on the subject, this reminds me of a couple of years ago when people tried to say I was a texturist because I said that unambiguous black women with 4C hair want to do twist outs because they believe it looks more kept and more put together when it is clumped in a uniform curl. They do not like their hair in its natural shrunken state. They don't like their hair in a formless state. And they would rather do all these different stretching styles. And they think that the looser your hair is or the more stretched it is, that the less it tangles. So which one is it? Do you like your hair in its natural state or not? Do you think your hair looks beautiful and acceptable in its natural state or not? Is your natural hair allowed to blow in the wind while you're at work or not? Because I would have never even noticed this until somebody pointed it out. When I'm watching reporters on TV, the last thing I'm looking at is their hairstyles. I could care less. If I'm watching a news story, it's because I want to see what's going on with the news. Somebody said, looking at jobs at Bloomberg, because clearly it's a safe space. So they're saying it as a diss, like it's a safe space to just look like crap. Somebody said, I didn't know why you said this. Then I went back to the video and I fell out. Somebody else said, really? Because I was like, what is good sis talking about? I was intrigued. And then all the comments indirectly talking about her hair. Someone said, OMG, I forgot she was even talking. So they're saying that her hair was so distracting that they forgot that she was even talking. This person says, we all know twist and braid outs don't go the way we hoped, but a slick back bun never fails. So they're saying she should have slicked her hair back into a bun. I thought that 4C hair can't slick. You guys say it all the time when you're watching 3C hair videos and you're like, I don't foresee my hair going into a slick back bun. So you're telling this girl that she should risk ripping out her edges, trying to slick her hair and sleek it back and get it as straight as possible into these crazy ass buns just so it doesn't blow in the wind for a couple of seconds. This is a 56 second clip. An unambiguous black woman with 4C hair should be able to allow her natural hair to blow in the wind. This is what you look like when you wake up in the morning, sis. This is what you look like. So what? Who cares? Anybody who wants to be racist or texturist against you can kick rocks. This is what her hair looks like. She's at work. She's already successful. She works for Bloomberg. She is a successful reporter. The haters could never. So who gives a fuck wh what's going on with her hair? She has a fulfilling, successful career. Sometimes when you're out in the field, or especially if you're standing by water and you're like working and sweating or whatever, or it's humid, Stuff happens and the wind blows in your hair. That's the way that I viewed this when I first saw this clip. I was not even thinking to myself, oh my God, she looks so ugly. Like that's the last thing I was thinking.
If anything, I was just thinking, oh, her hair is just blowing in the wind. This person says, those jobs and internships that have one strike policies, sometimes you just got to show up how you show up. Somebody said, okay, but she could have took a bathroom break. Ain't no way. Someone else said, a braid and a tuck could have fixed this quickly. Someone else said, right, I would have thrown up and went home. So you've got a black woman doing a throw up emoji of a fellow black woman with type four hair in its natural state. Sis, this is what your hair looks like every night. So they make fun of exoticals for relaxing their hair. They make fun of exoticals if they have texturizers. They make fun of exoticals if they wear wigs, weaves, or any fake hair. But then when you have a monoracial looking black woman wearing her real hair, now you want to do the throw up emoji. Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see the mental illness? She says, I know I was bullied in high school for my hair all four years and I went natural before it was a trend. And also, this woman probably has more confidence than all the bitches in the comment section because how many black women do you know who could go and walk into a place like Bloomberg with their natural hair and still be enough of a bad bitch to get a job and to be successful? This person said, Cynthia, is that you? And they tag Cynthia, like, remember Cynthia from uh, Rugrats? That's what they're saying she looked like. Somebody said, damn, I didn't want to love this, but... And somebody said, why are we like this? Someone said, not enough hugs as a child, maybe? Another person says, I'm crying real tears. Same, I'm at work and I can't stop cackling. Somebody else said, I am hollering because Angelica had that doll stressed. So they're basically saying she looks like a stressed out Barbie doll with half of her hair ripped out. But this is an example of another bad social climbing tactic, making fun of black features. You got people in the black community making fun of natural black features as if there's something wrong with them. What's wrong with her hair being a nappy, tight coiled 4C? What's wrong with it? I'll wait. Because last time I checked, Bloomberg still posted the video because they had no idea that something was wrong with her hair. Same thing with me. When I first looked at it, I didn't notice what was going on. And then when I saw her hair was kind of sticking out, all I was thinking was, oh, okay, her hair is just blowing in the wind. But of course, when I go to the comments section, you've got people in the black community basically exposing this woman. Nobody else would have known that anything else was wrong if it weren't for black women themselves exposing and dragging this woman. Somebody says, okay, so I'm glad everyone had a now girl reaction. Another person says, I immediately said, girl, come on. This girl says, sis took it too far. Jasmine says, I ran to these comments because I just knew. Someone said, I'm pretty sure I just tore my ACL. So basically, like, they're just, they ran to the comment section so fast because of her hair. Someone else said, I definitely hopped on the express. This girl says, yeah, I ran and tripped. Carmela says, this must be an experiment or a simulation to see how people react. Clarissa says, you had a scrunchie right there on your wrist. Laughing emoji. So you've got all these black women saying, basically, you should have tied that shit up. They're saying, oh, hell no, you need to tie that shit up. How dare you be out in public on Bloomberg looking like this? Britt Barb says, with the shades at the top is wild. This person says, I have no idea what she's talking about. I'm distracted. Solita Cabasa says, this can't be real. God's Sufficient Grace says, I'm taken aback, but not mad. Everybody else roll out of bed, so why can't we? So basically, they're saying she looks like she just rolled out of bed. Okay, even if she does, bitch. And she's at fucking Bloomberg, ho. And then this person says, just like with Simone Biles and Gabby Douglas, I'm not tearing a black woman down. They do it to us enough. We don't need to aid them. Exactly. The, the main people who tear down black women or mixed black women are other black people. I'm telling you, as a person that does not have this exact hair texture, I had no idea that, that there was something wrong with it. I thought that it was just blowing in the wind. Somebody said, on television? In broad day? Another person says, this is actually what we've been fighting for. So, exactly. You fought all of these years to have the Crown Act, which says that, like, you know, you can't discriminate based on people's hair textures. And when you finally see an unambiguous black woman with her hair in its natural shrunken state, suddenly it's still a problem. Another person says, we've all been there. Sometimes the twist out isn't dry when you take it out. You just have to go with it. I salute sis for not calling out sick today.
imagine being so ashamed of your natural hair that you would rather call out sick and take out your PTO because you don't want to show yourself in this state right here. This person says over 10 years natural and I have never been here, definitely not outside the house. This, there's always a backup plan. Someone said, yeah, my good sis, also a long-term natural. There's always a bun. So basically they're saying, you should have tied that shit up. You should have covered that shit up with a bun. You should have had some edge control on that shit is essentially what other black women are saying. But if I, as a woman with type three hair, were to say this exact same thing to this woman, I'd be called a texturist. Do you see how Shira Seven was called a texturist just a couple of weeks ago? Yet where's the outrage for this? Somebody says, I have some unlearning to do. I hate my initial reaction. Being taught your natural hair must be done while others can just roll out of bed and go to work isn't okay. Exactly. Your reaction tells you how you feel about 4C hair. When I first saw this, I didn't even notice her hair because I don't stare at people's hair. I don't judge people based on their hair textures because I don't give a fuck. Because I don't have hierarchy thinking when it comes to hair. So I'm not even looking at people's hair. If anything, I'm just thinking to myself, oh, that's just how it naturally grows, which is not bad. Like, so I don't really care. So for the people in this comment section who had a horrible reaction, why did you have such a horrible reaction? Bloomberg didn't see a problem with this. She herself didn't see a problem with this. This person says, we can't give a pass to everything. PJ says, news women don't just roll out of bed and go to work, though. They have to do their hair. So they're giving her that argument that her hair looks unkept. So her hair looks unkept, but if mixed women say the same thing, or if they say, hey, I benefit from texturism because I have type three hair, so I don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Like I've never had my hair do this. If women with type three hair say, hey, I've never dealt with this level of texturism, then suddenly we are texturous. Willie Bouncing says, I kind of feel you, but that's really not the case with the news. Girls of all races are usually done up. I don't know. But what do you consider done up? Do you see how they associate being done up with looking as mixed as possible? They associate her being done up with looking as close to a dark-skinned exotical as possible. So sleek, flat hair, definitely not shrunken hair with no shape. Tab Supreme says, nah, this is a mess. You can be natural and it be nice. This is a mess. Okay, so what makes it a mess? Is it the fact that it's in its natural state? Because that's how the majority of African hair grows. African hair grows in an upward, uh, almost like a tree. It actually doesn't even grow downward. The reason you're doing twist outs in the first place is to get it to go downwards. When your hair naturally grows in an upward motion, does it not? Aren't you guys the ones saying yourselves that type 4 hair naturally wants to grow in an upward motion, like, like an upward afro? So all these twist outs, all these problems you guys are having with uh, constantly putting your hair in box braids every five seconds, Constantly hiding behind box braids, hiding behind wigs and weaves, hiding behind dark skin exoticals, ripping out your edges, and having screenshots like this, it all comes from manipulating your hair. You don't want to wear it in its shrunken states. You have to stretch it out. But if she would have woken up and just sprayed her hair and let it be shrunken up naturally and let it do what it wants to do, you guys would have had a problem with that too. This girl says, folks here need to chill. Professionalism is not about hair. She's doing her job and doing it well. End of story. Yeah, like if it got approved and if it got like edited and posted on Bloomberg and especially if the reporter herself didn't have a problem with it, I don't really see the problem. Like I said, I didn't even notice it. Somebody says, so glad to see her wearing her hair however she wants. Someone says, wait, is this not a skit? This girl says, the way I didn't even notice the hair till the comments pointed it out because why is it an issue? Someone else says, I love this for her. She's actually living in Germany and has the awareness and confidence to be herself. I stan. Someone says, I thought this was a parody at first. Imagine hating 4C hair so much and being so not used to seeing 4C hair in its natural state that you think it's a parody when it blows in the wind. Because to me, it appears like her hair is just blowing in the wind. Someone says, are we going to talk about it? Been there, either her hair was still damp when she took it down or the wrong slash not enough styling product was used. Keep it pushing. And I oop says, I'm trying to not be that person, so I won't today. Who did my sis like this? I just want to talk to you. Someone else said, the sunglasses on top. 
This girl says, I'm a hold your hand while I say this. Another person says, I didn't know if we are being punked or not. Now, girl, what in the world? On national TV? This is a joke, right? I need to know, where was her bestie? Two flat twists and bobby pins for the ends for next time. Nothing wrong with your natural hair. You're beautiful. So if there's nothing wrong with it, why are you giving unsolicited advice in the comments section? Amina Bella says, baby, I swagged and surfed to the comments. And then this girl says, like, I get it, but can we style it better? Why is it that unambiguous women with inferiority complexes feel like they can comment on other women's bodies? You don't like it when other people comment on your body, right? Don't you guys tell people all the time, black women's hair is none of your business. Okay, so she's a black woman. Her hair is none of your business. Do you see the hypocrisy? Do you see how they can dish it out, but they can't take it back? What do you ladies think? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.